Hey guys, welcome back. So, long time no talk. I've been off YouTube for probably about almost a month. It's been quite a few weeks. And I also haven't been posting much on my Instagram or anything like that because I've had absolutely no new content to post. So, I thought I'd come on and just give you guys a life update, where I've been, what I've been doing, why I haven't been around. All of that kind of stuff so if you're interested in this then keep on watching and if you don't give a shit then you guys can press the X in the corner <laughs> so a couple of months ago Matt and I Matt is my boyfriend for anyone that doesn't know um, we were living in a small two-bedroom unit and we were we were happy there it was a nice spot it was really close to the beach and all of that kind of stuff but we got told that our landlord wanted to move into the unit so Essentially, we had to vacate it. That was quite stressful, so we had to find a new place to live, which I'm obviously sitting in the new house right now. Um, it has worked out for the better. I am 100% happier in this house. I have my own filming room here, so this is my filming room. It is this green shade that you can probably see in the background, and this wall over here is like a metallic green, like with the wishy-washy painting not my first color choice but that's okay I have my own filming room and it's super exciting I have this big window that's sitting behind the camera right now um just so much more room to get my work done basically so it's a three bedroom house we have a backyard so if one day we do want to get a dog which obviously like if I had a choice I would get a dog right this minute but we want to get settled, we want to save up some money, make sure we've got things kind of organised before we commit to giving an animal a forever home. And yeah, we've got a big rumpus room downstairs, which is awesome, like Matt likes to hang out down there. Um, and yeah, I'm really happy here, it's been great pretty much. So we moved in two weeks ago today, today is Sunday, and yeah, it was a big move. It was exhausting, so tiring, but we luckily had my mum and dad come up and help us move all of the furniture so that we didn't have to hire a, hire a removalist, which was amazing. So thankful to have them come up and spend their day off, you know, working their asses off to help us move. So yeah, we are pretty much settled in the new place. We still have some unpacking to do. We still have some decorating to do and all of that kind of thing, but we are basically settled. Um, so I'm really happy here. And the good news about this is that now that I have a filming room, I am gonna be much more motivated, I feel like, to film more videos for my channel, put out more content you know on YouTube on Instagram and yeah I just feel like I now have my own little space that I can do everything because before where I was filming was in our bedroom and our bed was pretty much here and I just had like my desk and my drawers all set up right in this tiny little corner that I could barely fit anything into I had to bring all my camera equipment out then after I'd finished, pack it all away because there was no room to leave it out. Um, I couldn't fit any soft boxes in my room, so now if I do decide to get soft boxes, there's so much room in this place that I can do that. And I can leave my camera and everything out just ready for me to do filming or whatever I want to do whenever I want to do it. So as stressful as it can be moving, I feel like it was a blessing in disguise. And yeah, we are very happy here. Next thing I want to just touch on is that I will be doing Vlogmas again this year. Um, even though it's so hard to vlog every day when you work, you know, 30 something hours a week and then do YouTube and try and have a social life and vlog and edit. I don't care because I loved it last year and I'm going to do it again this year. So if you guys are excited for Vlogmas, tell me. I don't know why, you can just tell me if you are. Um, so yeah, and that will be like, there's pretty much like one week, just over a week left of November, which is absolutely 
fucking crazy. I can't believe how fast this year has gone. An update on my health. I have had, as many of you would know, a lot of mental health and just health problems in general this year. It's probably been the worst year of my life for health. I don't know if many of you know this, but I was on medication called Lovin or Fluoxetine, Prozac, that they're all the names for it. And I was on two tablets a day, and that is to help with depression. And I got put on that in December of 2014. And like six months later, we upped my dose to two tablets because I was still quite depressed. And in about six months after being on two tablets, I gained like over 10 kilos. And for me, that is a lot of weight because I have always sort of stayed the same. Up until that point, I'd never been really big or really small. I was just pretty standard, just a healthy weight for my height. Um, but just before I went on the medication, I actually was quite small. I was very, very tiny, actually. There wasn't much of me. And yeah, I was quite healthy. And yeah, so putting on all of that weight and it ended up that that medication wasn't the right one for me anyway. I'm now on a different antidepressant and I have been since probably May this year and I'm slowly, slowly starting to, you know, get rid of the weight that I had put on from that medication. Um, and if anyone's wondering why a medication can make you put on weight, the reason that that one made me put on weight is because it basically blocks out something in your brain that tells you that you're full. So I used to eat really, really small portion sizes. Um, and when I was on this medication, my brain just would not tell me that I was full. So I would be like, oh, I'm still hungry. I'm still hungry. And you basically just eat more and more than you're used to. And portion size, if you didn't know, is one of the biggest things with weight. Like you can eat quite unhealthily, but if you're eating small amounts of it, it's probably not going to do you that much. Like you're not going to put weight on from it. You're not going to be healthy but you're not going to put on weight. So that's basically what happened, but I've been on a different antidepressant since, yeah, about May. Um, I'm on other tablets as well. Um, I have a new doctor that I've been seeing since April and she's amazing. She completely understands my mental health, my mental health history, um, the genetics, like everything. So she's always constantly trying to work with me to figure out what the best medications are, what the best strategies are for me to get better. So with the weight gain, I have felt very, you know, critical of myself, um, self-conscious, I've had low self-esteem, and it sucks. It really, really freaking sucks when you feel shit about yourself. I know at the end of the day, it wasn't my fault, but now I have to own it and I have to go and work hard to get it all off to get back where I was. And I'm trying not to think of it like I'm going to be happy when I'm whatever weight or whatever size. Because reality is I have to be happy now. I have to work on being happy right this minute because you're never going to be happy just when you reach one particular goal because what if you when you reach that say you wanted to lose 10 kilos once you lose those 10 kilos there'll be something else there'll be something else that you say oh well i'm not happy now but i will be happy once i do this that's kind of where my brain is at at the moment and i'm also like i find it very hard to exercise because especially when you're in a bad spot in your mind especially like Anyone who suffers with depression or anxiety or anything like that, you know what I'm talking about. It's hard to motivate yourself to get out and do something about the thing that's bothering you when you're depressed. Because, I mean, let's be real, it's hard to build up the motivation to even fucking have a shower or go to the mailbox. You know, 
little daily tasks seem impossible. I am in a better place at the moment. I feel so much better than I was. So I'm just going to try and encourage myself more than anything and not make myself feel bad. So yeah, I guess that's what's going on with my health kind of thing. I think I'm going to finish up the video here. I really hope you guys have been well and to those of you who have still stuck around and supported me while I've been gone, thank you. I appreciate it more than you know. Um, there's nothing worse than kind of working really hard on your social media and that kind of thing and having things happen where you have to be away from it and then having people kind of drop off and not support you anymore. Um, it really sucks. So I do appreciate you guys who are stuck around and continue to support me. I, I love you guys. I love you a lot. But yeah, I think that's it for this video. So get excited for Vlogmas Christmas time. I've got my Christmas tree set up. I'm going to be doing a Christmas house tour in the new house. I'm going to be putting up Christmas lights outside today because the unit we used to live in was the very back unit. We had no reason to put up Christmas lights outside because absolutely no one would have seen them. But now we live in a house where people can see the house from the street. So I'm going to go and set up some Christmas lights, put on my Christmas music. You guys know I love this time of year. It makes me so freaking happy. Like so happy. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited and I'm going to be putting out the best content you guys have ever seen. I'm going to be doing more reviews, more first impressions, more tutorials, like all of that kind of stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. So that's it from me today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this little life update kind of thing and just sitting down and having a chat. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.